For many people, the sight of a St. Bernard still conjures a romantic image of an avalanche rescue dog with a barrel of schnapps swinging around its neck. However, although they were used as rescue dogs, it is only a legend that the dogs would carry schnapps in a barrel ready to give to survivors. Officially named St. Bernhard's Hund, the dog's most famous representative is perhaps the St. Bernard known as Barry, which saved the lives of more than 40 people on the Great St. Bernard Mountain Pass in Switzerland between 1800 to 1812. Today, St. Bernards are popular family dogs. The breed also became famous worldwide after the release of the film Beethoven, which starred a St. Bernard. History and origin of the St. Bernard dog. The dogs are direct descendants of the Roman Molossian fighting dogs that the Emperor Caesar and his troops brought to the Alpine region of today's Switzerland roughly 2000 years ago. Monks living in the Great St. Bernard Pass began breeding the original St. Bernard in the 17th century. The dog's good qualities were strengthened by crossbreeding, the result of which were smaller and lighter specimens to be used as mountain guide and avalanche rescue dogs. St. Bernards were also run all over Switzerland as herding and farming dogs. In 1850, Heinrich Schumacher was the first breeder to breed the dogs that would officially be known as St. Bernards. To counter the problems of inbreeding, Newfoundland and Mastiffs were crossed in. However, this led to St. Bernards becoming much too big to be used as mountain rescue dogs. Their life expectancy also dropped to only around 10 to 11 years. The current breeding goal is to create lighter and more agile dogs again. Appearance of the St. Bernard dog According to the breed standard, males should reach between 70 to 90 cm at the withers, while females should reach 65 to 80 cm. Depending on the sex, St. Bernard's can weigh 80 kilos or more. Their weight is not defined by the FCI. The gentle giants appear as long and short hair varieties. Their coat can be smooth or slightly wavy and has a very dense structure. The fur color is usually white with reddish brown to yellowish brown. White markings on the paws, chest, nose, neck and the tip of the tail are desirable. The dog's face should have an even dark mask. Its massive head rests on a stable neck and its powerfully built body gives the dog an imposing stature. Temperament and training of the St. Bernard dog Sometimes St. Bernards seem a bit clumsy, which only makes them more likeable. However, the giant dog is an intelligent, sensitive and affectionate companion. It is essential that St. Bernards learn to subordinate from an early age and they should undergo training from puppyhood. The dogs make ideal family dogs with their somewhat sad-looking eyes and playfulness. Coupled with their distinctive protective instinct, they also make good watchdogs as their sheep herding ancestors once were. Sometimes, however, the dogs can be incredibly stubborn, but they're usually quite sociable with other dogs. Exercise and care of the St. Bernard dog. St. Bernards don't have a huge desire to run and are not suitable for dog sports such as agility courses. Nevertheless, they need regular exercise and love long walks, especially in the snow. City apartments are not suitable for St. Bernards to live in and even climbing stairs is not good for their joints, which become strained by their heavy build. When St. Bernard puppies grow too quickly, it can have an extremely harmful effect on the bone structure of the adult dog. Like most large dog breeds, St. Bernards also show an increased susceptibility to hip and elbow dysplasia. Bone cancer is also more common. Other diseases that typically may affect the breed include epilepsy, eye problems due to their drooping eyelids and skin diseases. A larger kennel in a fenced, spacious garden is ideal especially if the St. Bernard loses its house training as it gets older. Their teeth should be checked regularly for the build-up of tartar and they should be brushed extensively at least once a week. <music>